everyone. It's Debbie with Life with Debbie. Um, welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you are one of my wonderful subscribers. Today we are going to be planning out the week of January 1st through January 7th in my new uh, Hobonichi A6 Han. Um, I'm very excited about this and by now you guys have seen my other videos. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm not positive. I, I mean, I know kind of what I want to do, but um, I'm I'm not positive exactly how it's going to go. But as far as setting it up, I think what I'm going to do is, for one, I can go ahead and do the rosary up here. Um, I don't know the readings until Sunday. I mean, I could look it up, but I prefer getting it from our church bulletin. So anyways, those will get put in Sunday evening. Um, today is Thursday, the, what is it, 28th? Yeah, thir Thursday the 28th of December. But we are going to go ahead and set this up so I can get the videos edited and uploaded. And, you know, which I schedule some of the uploads. But anyways, um, that's beside the point. <laughs> um, I want to go ahead and set this up. And then... Um, I don't know what my schedule yet will be when I post videos as far as what comes where um, I will decide when I start uploading. But anyways, I'm excited because I get to start using my fountain pens again. <coughs> this is a pinnator um, and it's got a fine point nib on it, but I have two of these because I love them so much and ink does not dry up fast in these. Um, I don't know what it is about them. Uh, I don't use the one in my purse all the time, which is pink, which is the first one I got. My, um, I think that's the one he got me. Um, and then I got myself the other one. But anyways, I wanted two. I wanted one for the desk and one for my purse. And I believe the pink one is the one he got me, and that's the one in my purse. And then I really liked this color, too. Um, so anyways... Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I don't know I if I look it up, I'll try to post it. But it's got a um, like a shimmer ink. It's not black. I probably will see how things go, and then we'll decide as to whether I am going to switch to a black ink for my pens or if I'm just going to stick with what I have and run it out. So we'll decide later. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and put the rosary up here because I know that that is the rosary for that day. And whatever is going on for January 1st, I'm going to start it off up here. So, like, it's um, New Year's Day, of course. Everybody knows that. And then it is... Um, let's just start it here. Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Okay, so those two are there, and then we will. I will be doing my to-do list here. I want to figure out how I want to do gratitude. So um, I have these two stencils. I have this one from Erin Condren, and I have this one, which I mean, I, I understand you probably can't see as well. Okay, maybe you can. But anyways, I don't know if I want to do the bubble or if I want to try something like this. I want to do like a, a once a day gratitude. The problem is if I do the bubble, I would have to outline it with the highlighter because I already tested writing with fountain, uh, with my fountain pen on the highlighter and then trying to highlight over and it doesn't work. It just totally bleeds. So I think I would have to outline it and I want I just want something special for my gratitude. So maybe, maybe we try the bubble. 
um, the speech bubble. Maybe we try that and see how that goes. And then um, if that doesn't work, then we'll just try something else. You know, a square or a rectangle or whatever. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a... I don't really have an orange. Um, maybe we could do like a tan to kind of go with this color. Although it, to me, it really doesn't matter. I don't really care, I guess, is the best way to put that. But I'm thinking I want to put it like right here because this line is what I'm going to kind of use to divide. But I don't want to make it like a permanent line. It's already there and visible. So all of my to-dos are going to go here, whatever appointments, any of that stuff. It's all going to go right here. And then um, over here, I want my gratitude and I want to be able to journal. And if I have to do this and then I come over this way because I had a short to-do list or whatever, I can do that. So let's make sure we're not hitting that line. But I'm going to, I think, just use the, the like bullet point or whatever it's called, the marker part of it to trace it. And then, um, did I trace it? Am I just, what am I doing here? Oh, maybe it just isn't going in there right. There we go. So yeah, I just figured this is something to try and this is, you know, all new for me, but this is where I want to put my gratitude um, every day. I, cause like I said, I want everything in one planner. So um, that is where my gratitude will go. And I want to make sure everything is dry. I think what we'll do, where's that? Oh, there it is. We are just going to use this to kind of divide things up here. Um, we will do the same um, stencil for gratitude for the whole week that we're setting up. And then we'll... Um, We'll take it from there. That's just the best way I can say it. Uh, joyful. And that way both of those are in. On the second, it is my uncle. Jimmy, just put B day. That's the only thing on that day. And then over here we have adoration, which we need to start going back and doing, and divine mercy. Okay, both of those are there. Now, what did I, why did I put that back like that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, let's get this on. Yeah, it kind of sucks that um, for my with my fountain pen, I can't, um, you know, like highlight over not, well, at least with these highlighters, I can't, um, I don't know if there's like a, another kind, but it, that part doesn't really bother me. If I need to, I could always just use, um, my gel pen. I'm thinking, Ooh, kind of messed that one up, didn't I? I'm thinking I might um, invest, we'll see, in um, uh, the uni, uni, Uniball, um, whatchamacallit, it's a Uniball, jet pen, the ballpoint pen, we'll see. Um, I, 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 you know, in your spare time, you cook, you tea, or 
So yeah, we we I might, but I might not. I might just enjoy my fountain pen and then just in my weeks, you know, when I do my little highlighted areas, I could I thought about either making stickers or um you know, to go over those spots once I know what I'm going to do. Um but yeah. I thought about that and then I don't have to worry about it. I have, you know, what I need. Um as far as that goes, you know, I'll I'll have what I need. So I won't have to um you know worry as much, I guess. I don't I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I think it's because I'm really worried about messing this up, which I did on you know, my little gratitude bubble on uh, Wednesday, but that's okay, you know. So, but yeah. Okay, so those two are set up. And I'm not, I think I've mentioned this already. I'm not, this time thing is, it means nothing to me. Uh, it really doesn't. I'm not using it that way. That's going to be my to-do list. And, um, and that's it. So, um. But yeah, that's the whole plan as far as that goes. Um, and see, here's here's one right here. This is a, um, it could be, you know, looked at as, you know, I have church at 11. And I put a little bullet point there. And once church is done, then I can cross that off. So... Um, that's the way I'm planning on doing, um, all of these that way. Uh, that's what I did in my bullet journal. And I really, I honestly really enjoyed it. I'm more, like I've said before, I am more of a list maker and I like checking things off and I don't really care for the, see what I did there? That's just messed up. Let me get the green off. Okay. Um, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother me to have it listed like that. So, um, and you'll see more as the time goes on. And, um, and see, I made it bleed onto my stencil. So this might not work. It might, but it might not. So we now have it set up. I know this isn't like a huge setup or anything like that. Um, anything that you guys are used to uh, seeing, but this things are changing for me. And I really feel that this is going to work the best for me. So we have Sunday here and um, we just have church. There won't be too much on the to-do list because we don't do anything on Sundays. Um, and then we have Saturday, we have Friday, we have Thursday, we have Wednesday, we have Tuesday, and we have Monday, January 1st. And you know what I should have done? I was already just talking about this and I should have done it this way. I should have little bullet point right there because those are um, things that we will be doing. So um, that's how that will go. These are for my gratitude. I will journal underneath. I will be doing check-ins um, if there's anything that's like too personal um, that I journaled about that day. I might cover it up with a post-it note before we do a check-in. But this is what I want to do. This is something I'm very excited about. I hope you guys are excited about going on the journey with me. I cannot wait 
to get in to actually using this every day. Um, it, it's, it's killing me to wait, but you know, it doesn't start till January 1st. So I have to wait. These pages, I think I've already mentioned this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Um, we shall see, but this planner is going to be my everything planner because I, I, I can carry it. I have, um, my little Motrim cover coming for it, uh, today, actually. Um, I had, I had actually hoped that I would have it by the time I film this, but you guys will see that next week when I, um, when I do my plan with me for the week. Um, this is strictly going to be a minimalistic, um, uh, strictly functional planning, uh, from, you know, for the foreseeable future. I don't see myself adding a lot of stickers. The only thing I might add stickers to is in my weeks, I might add them for the words because I really am looking forward to using my fountain pens again. Um, these fountain pens are not cheap. They're not like the most expensive, but I love the way they write. And now that I know that it doesn't look stupid with me printing with them. I used to think it did, so I never printed with them. I only wrote in cursive with them. Um, and it looks fine. I mean, I think it looks just fine. So, um, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a fresh start for me. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. I hope I don't lose too many of you. Um, but yeah, I'm, not going to be using a lot of stickers. I'm not going to be frou-frouing it up. This is strictly um, functional for me. I, I have to get my brain straight. And <laughs> this is the best way I can think to do it. And I, I love planning, but I, I don't know. I, I just, I got to find my planner piece. And um, I'm hoping that this will give that to me. So I hope you all stick around for the for the ride. Anyways, I am going to end this here. And like I said, next week you guys will see the, the Motrim that I will have it in. My altar and rosary stuff will all go in here also. I'm also going to be carrying my Erin Condren notebook in my um, hard carry case, the A5. Um, that will also be going with me to altar and rosary meetings because like I said, I do love the Erin Condren paper and I love their notebooks. So... I already have stuff in there and it's just going to continue. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be my everything planner. And then I have my weeks for my everyday carry, um, which I will be keeping up with both of them. So anyways, um, I, I hope I haven't lost anybody and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful and safe new year's. Uh, Eve and New Year's Day, and I will see you again in the next video. Have a good one. Bye. God bless.